People are familiar with it as a toy, so they can relate to this type of art almost on a different level because of that familiarity. You know, if someone sees a marble sculpture, they can relate to it, they can appreciate it. They don't have it at home. You know, people don't have marble they can chip away at at home, but they have Lego bricks, and so it allows people to connect to this type of art. That's right. The average person may not have stone and chisel or a brush and paint at their ready to express themselves artistically. For many of us, the closest thing we've got are some jars of clay rotting away in an iTunes library somewhere. But fortunately, Nathan Sawaya isn't us. He's an artist who works exclusively through the medium of the Lego brick. Crafting originals, like this blue Lego figure ascending a Lego staircase into a larger Lego person, to Lego versions of the Mona Lisa, to these multicolored Lego skulls. Which certainly puts my little Lego Frankenstein head that I got at a children's Lego event to shame. No offense. This artist's work is on display in a worldwide exhibition known as the Art of the Brick. This video is taken from the UK, where this just opened in London on Wednesday. As noted by the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, where this thing is also running through September, the Art of the Brick is the first major museum exhibition to use Lego bricks as the sole art medium. And yeah, even though sculptures like this might be a bit more involved than this ski chalet for a seven-year-old, our artist here appreciates getting to work with the fine finger-poking details of these little plastic pieces. But I also like Lego for that that very distinct lines it makes, those sharp corners, those right angles that you see in all the little squares and rectangles of my work. When you see it up close, it's all sharp corners, but then you back away and all those corners blend into curves. And I think that that's the magic of using Lego bricks. At this exhibition, there are more than 100 works of art on display that are made from over 1 million Lego bricks. I wouldn't recommend walking around the place in bare feet. And on display are famed works like Red Guy Sitting, a 21,000 block creation that's pretty much what it sounds like, as well as one of this artist's most recognizable sculptures, Yellow, which features the figure of a person and spilling their guts out to reveal insides that were filled with plastic. Kind of like one of those evolutionists from Cronenberg's Crimes of the Future. In addition, there are plenty of classical sculpture-inspired Lego sculptures, like the Thinker, the Kiss, and the Scream. Archaeological Lego relics, like this six-meter-long Lego skeleton from what was presumably a millions-of-years-old Lego T-Rex, and other Lego curiosities, like these Lego embodiments of the logos on the PlayStation controller seemingly coming to life. When I'm working on a new piece, I want to have have a vision in my mind of what that final piece is going to look like before I even put down that first brick. So I try to put a plan into place as I'm working, and as I'm working, I'm actually gluing each individual brick together. So it's a slow process. Now if it doesn't look right, I take out a hammer and chisel and will chisel apart part of the sculpture and rebuild it to get it to look as I want it. Believe it or not, our artist Nathan here gave up a career in law to pursue his Lego passion. And considering the types of instructions you've got to follow in the courtroom compared to the playroom, who could blame him? Early on I realized that Lego bricks could be anything I could imagine. Uh, I didn't have to follow what was on the front of the box or follow the instructions. I could just build what I could envision. So if I wanted to pretend to be a rock star, I would just take those Lego bricks and build myself a guitar. If I wanted to be an astronaut, I could build myself a rocket ship. The toy became anything I could imagine it to be. So my advice for others is, if you want to explore using Lego bricks, just get some bricks and start building. Use your imagination and see what happens. If you want to check out The Art of the Brick, it's running right now in London, Philadelphia, Paris, and Miami. And in case you feel inspired and want to create your own Lego art, why not turn to ideas.lego.com? That's where Lego craftspeople can propose ideas, like this Lego Polaroid camera, that can be voted on and possibly turned into real Lego sets you can buy in the store. While that's not to say we'll all be lining up for tickets to see this Lego recliner, Lego public restroom, or Lego set of a Flex Seal commercial anytime soon, hey, keep using that imagination.